Sports City here with head coach Joe Evans at Arbor Kill Knights. Uh, Joe, talk about how your offseason went this year. Uh, we had a great offseason. We, you know, every day we'd have 85, 95 kids in the weight room. Um, being the, the guy that I am about the weight room, you know, pushing these guys and, uh, you know, having them push each other, finding new levels in their in their strength and conditioning. Um, guys really bought into the program, bought into my, you know, my philosophy of the program as well. So that was that was a really big, big thing for us. Excellent. Excellent. Um, Arthur Kill, you guys made the second round of playoffs, beat South Mac in the first round last year. What's it going to take for you guys to uh, get to that next level? Uh, well, the first thing you got to have is you got to have leaders like we have on our team. Um, you know, I try to lead by example. I try to you know show a great work ethic and and have the guys follow me. You know, so at the same time, they can have other guys follow them. You know, and it, it's really a servant leadership that I try to do. Um, you know, I don't ask my assistant coaches to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. Um, and it's the same thing that I expected my captains and my leaders on the team. Um, so stuff like that, you know, you win in the locker room first. I'm in the middle of reading that book by John Gordon right now. Um, and you, you cultivate that culture and, you know, that, that winning culture. And it's not just on the practice field. You know, it's every aspect of your team, the cafeteria, the class, the weight room, on the practice field, in the locker room, everything you do. Excellent, excellent. So talk about some of your key players you got coming up for this season. Uh, well, you know, obviously you've got our, our four captains. Jalen Irwin um, is one of them. He's a, a great, great wide receiver with all conference last year. He has an amazing work ethic. Um, you know, he's just a, he's a guy that comes out, works hard every day, um, doesn't complain, you know, just comes out and does the things he needs to do. I've challenged him to be a little bit more vocal this year um, as a leader because he is such a lead by example guy. Um, I've challenged him to work on, you know, being vocal, you know, because a lot of times in our culture today, leading by example doesn't really get noticed as much as it should. Uh, you got Jackson Sinclair, who's our uh, middle linebacker all-conference guy last year. Um, he's really the, the heart and soul of our defense, along with Justin Lawson. Um, those two guys in the middle of defense are, uh, are very impressive. Um, they come in here in the weight room and they push each other and they feed off each other. And they, uh, they do the little things on the field. Um, as coaches on the field for us, because when it, you know when the game kicks off, they're inside the lines and we're not. Um, you know, then you got Cade McDonald, who's our uh, our tight end wide receiver guy. Um, actually, really stepped up this year as a leader. Um, our high energy guy. He's our guy that gets everybody going. Um, he's a guy that, you know, if there's a really tense moment, he may drop a joke in there. He may do something funny to kind of break the tension and uh, you know, kind of everybody let everybody relax and realize that you know, at the end of the day, it's just football. You know. Um, you got Cameron Bauer, who also plays linebacker. Um, you know, him and Justin and Jackson, all three played varsity last year, and I think they're the best linebacker core in the city, maybe in the state. Um, and then you got, um, you know, you got Luke Heffley on the offense. Um, you've got John Rowe, offensive line, three-year starter. Um, you know, numerous offers. Um, but the thing about that, he doesn't really care about his offers. He cares about this team. And that's kind of what I've been trying to push and, and impress upon these guys is, you know, it's team first, team first, team first. And they really, they really bought into that. Now, <clears throat> you coach at Arthur Kill here. You got some great facilities and uh, great support. Talk a little bit about how it is to coach at such a, a place that, that really is behind you. Well, it's really great to have a lot of support. Um, you know, we got a great group of parents. We got great administration. Um, I got a great athletic director uh, supports me every step of the way. Um, you know, the facilities are top notch. I've, I, I've been in colleges, you know, Division two colleges, Division one AA colleges that don't have a weight room as nice as what we have. Yeah. Um, you know, you can have the nicest weight room in the world, the nicest facilities in the world, but if you don't use them to the maximum potential, then you're cheating yourself and you're cheating your team. Um, and these guys will tell you, when we step in this weight room, we're going to use every single square inch of this weight room and we're going to get after it. And if anybody's not getting after it, then I expect my captains to call them out and tell them about it. Um, and, you know, when you look at it and you look at all the support you got, um, you know, everybody has got your back. Everybody's got your back. Everybody's got your back. Coach, what do you need me to do? Coach, what do you need me to do? And that's really one of the things when you look at it that is very um, strong about this about this community is that people are willing to chip in and help out. You know, and it, it's not really a lot of ego about, um, you know, what am I going to get out of it? It's just that people just want to help. You know, and that's, that's, that's very refreshing. That's excellent to hear, Coach. Well, we're expecting big things from you. We got you at number seven in our little poll that we do. And uh, we appreciate the time, man. Good luck. Thanks, guys.